Today we are playing Take Noko. So this was, sorry the cats like to come and investigate. This was part of the 2021 board game adventure that we got the kids for Christmas. And so this was the game of the month in February. Um, it has become a family favorite. Beautiful, award-winning. Absolutely love it. Probably our favorite part was the instruction booklet is actually a comic book. There's the English. So yeah, it starts with a little comic and then very easy to uh, learn and understand. You get four uh, cards that go in front of you and this help keep track of your turn. So it's only for four players. You get cards. So the green one is just the extra bonus point that the first person who goes out gets this. And then you have your object objectives. So you have the purple objectives, which is the panda eating the bamboo. You have the red objective, which is how high you can grow the bamboo with the gardener. And then you have the blue objectives, which are the tile order. So it comes with the starting tile. This goes in the middle of the table to start the game. And then you have the colored tiles, yellow, green, and pink. So a uh, super cool note, I guess, is that even if you are colorblind, you can still play this game because it they have symbols that represent the colors. And I thought that was really neat. I've never seen that in a game before. So very cool. You have the bamboo the base of the bamboo and then you have these little things that connect into it and you can build your bamboo tie tower for high. These are the tokens that you use on these cards to represent what you will be doing on your turn. So you can do these, this is your turn, you can do two of these things per turn. So you just kind of put your marker uh, to represent which two things you're going to do. You have your super cute panda that eats the bamboo. And you have your super cute gardener. And he grows the bamboo. These are irrigation. So your tile must be irrigated. I'll show you how to use these later. You have the die that gives you a special power each turn. The special powers are on your card. The sun, if you roll the sun, you get three turns. If you roll the rain, you get to add a bamboo shoot wherever you wish on an irrigated tile. If you roll the wind, you can do the same item in one turn. So normally you can't. Normally you have to choose uh, the gardener and a card. So two different things. But if you roll the wind, you can move the panda twice or the gardener twice or take two irrigations. Uh, the lightning bolt, you get to move the panda for free. The cloud, you get a bonus chip, and I'll show you those next. And the question mark, you get to choose what you want. The bonus chips are these. There is an auto irrigation. Panda cannot eat. And 
this one is just rakes. So if the tile that this is on is irrigated and you move the gardener there, you not only get to add one bamboo, you get to add two. So it's a fast growing tile. Some of the tiles have nothing on them. That's where you get to place these. Each tile can only have one special feature. Some of the tiles already have a special feature on them. They're built in. You cannot add a second special feature to that. So I'm going to quickly set up the board and get everybody ready to play. And we'll start playing Take an Uncle. Okay, we got everybody to the table. So, like I said, I put everything back in the box. First thing you do is you give each player one of the boards. And then you hand out these little things. They are, I never noticed this when we first played it. They match, if we can zoom in here, cameraman, they match here to here. Okay, so this one's mine. What do you guys have? And you just put them at the top when it's not your turn. Oh, Ryder took his, that's dad's. Okay. The next, things you want, next thing you wanna do is you wanna put the bamboos into, we always use little bowls. So I'm gonna get Lily to do that. She always keeps the bases to the side and puts the building ones into the bowl. Die. The special tokens that I talked about, they kind of go over here. Same with the irrigation. So I'll put them over here because these are things that you can take on your turns. We'll take out our little panda and our gardener and our starting tile. You don't need the green one till the very end. Now, these are the objective cards. I talked about these earlier. Now, to win the game, to end the game, you need to have seven of these cards completed. That's how you end the game. Once you do that, the other players get one more turn. Then you count the points and see who wins. The first person to go out with seven gets the green card to add. So I'm gonna put these cards over here. So if the players want them, I'll just hand them out. You place these tiles, remember these are the colored ones, you place these upside down. This goes in the middle. Let's put this over by you guys. You guys can hand those out. And to start, the panda and the gardener go on top. To start the game, each player gets, oh, Lily's just shuffling the tiles right now. To start the game, each player gets one objective of each color. So there you go, dad. Lily, Ryder, and myself. So dad's just showing you the objectives that he got. Some are harder than others. So I'll get dad to show you his blue specifically. So that one, he would get three points for making that pattern. I have an eight. So it's quite difficult to grow four stalks of three, but I get eight points for it. Okay. <clears throat> These normally get hidden from the other players. So we'll walk you through one round and we'll show, Ryder, you wanna go first? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Ryder rolled the cloud. So he gets to take one of these special tokens. What are you taking? Uh, the rake. So I'm just going to show here, Ryder. You can see on his board, I'll move it up here. 
When you take one of the special tokens, they get stored on your board at the bottom until you want to use it. Remember, only one token can go on each tile. So he's going to save it there. And then he's shown one of his turns is going to pick a tile. And what's your other one going to be? Can um, we just put that one down for right now? Or you don't know yet? I don't know because I need to find okay. a green tile. Yeah. Okay, so he chose to place a tile. Lily will give him three. He chooses one. What are you going to choose? Mm. No, what I need is a green without that. Okay, so his specifically... Oh, which one it's is red. it? red. It's an easy one. He needs a green tile, because it'll grow green bamboo. But, as you can see, it has to have the rake on it. Okay? So, he ended up placing the yellow. The other two went at the bottom of this pile. What's, what are you going to do on your second turn? Oh, you forgot to plant that because you're doing it. Oh, right. Doing so, it. because it's touching the main tile, it's automatically irrigated and gets one bamboo. But then I moved the panda. He moved the panda. So now what happens? I eat it. He eats it. And you can see on his board here, when you eat a bamboo, it goes into the panda's belly. Let's go ahead. So his turn is now over. He did his two things. So now I'm going to go. I've got a sun. So I get to do three of these things. Remember, they have to be different. So I'm going to look at my cards. So I need some pink. I need two yellow. And I need a whole lot of green. So I'm going to start with placing a tile. So again, I will take three. Oh, I got pink and green. Can you please place the green? I'm not, get out of here. I'm not helping you. So I'm going to check. Place the pink. Lily will place a bamboo because it is automatically irrigated. I don't need to eat the pink, so I'm not going to move the panda. I do need to eat some yellow, but first there has to be a yellow. So I'm going to move the gardener. Now that he's on the yellow, he plants one. So that was my second, moving the gardener. And my third, I don't need to move the panda. I think I will take for my third an irrigation stick. This will help me later. So right now, because these two tiles are touching the pond, they are irrigated. As soon as, I won't give it away, but as soon as we place one out here, it would not be irrigated unless it had the auto irrigation tile. Or you place these irrigation like this. They have to make a little path. And as soon as an irrigation is on this tile, it would be irrigated and it could start growing stuff. It has to be on the tile. It cannot just be touching. So for my third move, I'm going to store an irrigation right there on my card. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Go ahead, Dad. What'd you roll? Wind. Wind. So if he so if he chooses, he can do two of the same thing. So he chose place a tile. And again, he has the wind, so he can do another tile. No. But he's choosing, choosing to. Um, yes, twice. Oh, sorry. Yes. My, my bad. No. A red, a red card? Uh, red, red card, card. okay. Card. So he chose this one here, which is to choose 
another objective card. Another. Millie's turn. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you roll? Oh, the rain. The rain. So she gets to choose an irrigated tile to add. So she wanted, you want a pink? Yeah. Add a pink. Oh, and then she moves the panda. And what's your last one? A tile. Remember, all these are automatically irrigated, so they get that starting bamboo. Okay, Ryder, what are you going to do? Wind. Uh, first, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so he placed a special tile, special token, on the green. Oh, I'm just going to slow you down here. So he is choosing to move... When he placed this here, that does not count as part of any movement. So he got the wind, so he chose to move the gardener two times. So you have to move in a straight, you cannot move from here to here. Okay? So show them, move once. So he moves once, and then he's going to move it. No, I'm going to go here. Just okay. To okay. So he moved once. This tile has the rakes, so it gets two. Mm. Then he's gonna move it again. Oh, and sorry, I didn't even cover that. This one also grew because it's an adjacent yellow. Go ahead, Ryder, where now his second move is. Here. And again, he will get two on this one. Now there's no adjacent green, so this is the only tile that will get bamboo. My turn sun again so I get to choose three. I'm gonna look at my cards here again. I'm going to choose land. Oh. There we go. And I'm also, what else do I need to go after? Okay, I can't place any more land, but I sure need some of that yellow. So I'm going to move the panda here. Remember, I can't move him here. There we go. That's mine. And the third thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take another card. And I'm going to choose, that one's going to be hard, so I'm going to choose another one of these. All right, go ahead, Dad. I'm going to pick. So he gets to choose. Sun, because I'm going to get moving here. Okay, so he chose to get <coughs> the sun bonus. Tile. When adding tiles out here, he cannot place. Just hang on. He cannot place here because it's only touching one tile. It has to be surrounded by at least two other tiles. Unless it's the main one here. And you're starting. So he's going to place it right here. It is not irrigated, so it does not get a starting bamboo. He's moving the gardener straight across to there. So because there's two pink adjacent tiles, they will each get one. And purple. And a purple card. And his turn is over. Go ahead, Lily. Another sun. Okay. So as you can see, Lily just ruined my plan. She took my spot and my pink. So now I'm going to have to Redo that one. And that's the thing. You, people can help you or people can really hinder you in this game. Okay, so Lily ate a pink one. She already had a pink one in her belly. So she was able to play her card. Worth five points. So she has one objective card played already. She plays it down. 
She needs six more. What card? Purple. Purple. Okay, Ryder, your turn. What is that? Rain? Rain. I'm planting that. Okay. So he planted that and automatically laid down this objective card. Just remember, sometimes the cards have pictures in the corner. The tile that it's growing on must, whoops, must have that special token. The bamboo shoots fall often, especially when you have baggy, baggy sleeves here. And I guess just remember when you're picking a tile, you get three tiles to choose from. The leftovers go upside down in whatever order you wish underneath the rest of the tiles. This one is auto irrigated, so it gets a starting bamboo shoot. Oh, I need to, forgot to do it there too. Have I covered everything, you guys? What do you think? I think none of us has rolled in lightning, but that's what you use. Just, just move the panda, yep. Yeah. And so I think we're gonna speed it up, and I guess let's see who wins. The biggest, you know what, the biggest thing I will say is when you are moving these guys, they do have to go in a straight line. They can go as far as they want, but they have to go straight. Um, and don't forget, when you do move a gardener, all the tiles of that color that are adjacent get one bamboo. <clears throat> adjacent unless... and irrigated. Adjacent and irrigated, yes. Yeah. So... He was there, right? Okay. So we're going to go ahead, speed it up. Let's see who wins. All right, so I think this will be our the final round here. So I rolled a question mark. So I am going to choose rain. And I'm going to choose to grow this. And then my one move is gonna be moving the panda. Oh, that comes to me. And there are now four tiles with three bamboo on them that are green. 
And then my second move is going to pick up a card. And my card is that pattern of greens. Of course, all irrigated. That's what the, I don't think I mentioned that before, but that's what the water drop means. So they have to be irrigated right here. I now have seven cards, objective cards laid down. I'm the first one, so I'm gonna get the bonus. And now each player is going to get one more shot. So dad's gonna go. Rolls the sun. Okay. So now at this point, what you wanna do is try to get as many cards as you can. If you don't think you can get them, the ones that are in your hand, oh, he got them. I'm gonna take an extra card. Okay, so now he. Hang on, I, do I have, yeah, I have to do this first. So I have to okay. get my. Okay, so one move, two move. He got. He now has seven cards down. Okay, and which what's the best shot here? <laughs> so he's choosing his third move to take a card. Which one you want? So obviously not this one because yeah, I have nothing in my tummy. Yeah, you got none in your tummy. belly, so you don't really want purple. Okay. Did he get it? Of course not. No, he did not. There's so a, there's a five. So pink formation oh, in that, and that's the one we don't have that there formation are of it. Four so. on the board, but not in that formation. So okay, okay so we didn't get that. One. All right, one. Lily. I still got my seven. So she has six cards down. Okay, move that panda. We're having a hard time with Lily moving the panda today. She. The panda. Her panda always decides to knock everything down. So she chose to move the panda back to the middle, which is a legal move. What are your next two moves? Oh, she's taking a card. Card. Uh, red. Red. Did you get it? Nope. Writer says no. Mm -mm. Nope, Lily can't do it. Okay, and what's your second move? Move the panda, okay. Oh, moving the gardener, all right. Moving him back to the starting. Okay, and the last turn is gonna be Ryder. So Ryder has six cards down. What are you gonna do, buddy? I need three, if I don't get these two, I win the game. I won the game. You no, did I, I didn't win the game. But... Get out of here, let's see. Okay, so he rolled a question mark. I got my own seven. And I believe seven. he's choosing the sun, right? For three moves? No. No. Panda. So he's choosing the lightning bolt. Bolt. Oh yeah, roll up those sleeves here. So I get to move the panda twice. Because once for the die. And then he's going to use one of his turns to and also move the panda. Two. Okay. And then next turn. That. Okay, so he's playing down a seventh card. And then for my last. Turn. He's taking a card, uh, so this is where you gotta. Okay, what I, you have, gonna do? I have three yellows. Okay, what are you gonna do? That only be four. Ryder has almost, I'd say, like a photographic memory when it comes to cards and games. He can memorize what these cards are and, and point value. He's quite impressive. He He's going to be a card counter at a casino when he is old. Okay. Final move. What card? Mm. This is between you and me. Who's going to win the game? I'm going to go with a garden card. Okay. Did you get it? Nope. No. Okay, so that does not count. So now what you do is you look at your points. You add them up. So mom got 10, 20, 28. 32. Mom got 32. So just because I went out first doesn't necessarily mean I win. What'd you guys get? <clears throat> I got 27. Dad got 27. <clears throat> Ryder got 33. So What'd he... 32. Only 7, 6, I know. 5. 
What What'd you get? hand is that? Thirty-one. Look at this. Thirty-one. Three. Oh, Dad three, came three, in last. Three. Okay, so Lily got thirty-one. Mom got thirty-two. Ryder got thirty-three. So even with the bonus card that Mom got, I didn't win. Ryder ended up winning. If that had one more on it, if I rolled a rain, no, I I wouldn't have gotten that if I rolled a rain. And Dad got twenty-seven. And so that even is though, even though I lost, this is still overall one of my favorite games. It is Dad's favorite game. I would have gotten. He's always playing. He always, he always wants to play this one. So, um, yeah. So this was February's game of the 2021 board game adventure. New favorite. Super fun. Really cute. So that's Take Keep playing and have fun. Mm -hmm.